Linda and Teresa and Colleen and oh here we yep. go. We're, here we're live. We're live. We're now here. We are. We are the mad scientists and she's potty. <laughs> I'm mad Frankie. This is potty I go. <laughs> and together we make the mad scientists. Way. Way. Hello. <laughs> oh. Hello to Teresa. Violet, Liz, Colleen, Eddie. Oh, hi, Eddie. Me, a bit. Colleen, Belinda, Paula. <laughs> hi, Colleen. Hi, Liz. Hi, Belinda. Right. Hi, Paula. There's Paula. She's there somewhere. Yep, I saw well, her. Okay. Today, we have a few things. I didn't oh, put Lisa. much in. Lisa I'll have to add to the description. Because today, I was thinking... Yes, amazingly, I do sometimes think. <laughs> so, uh, no, no, not a lot today. It was last night. <laughs> I've got here uh, an old begun um, journal. Whoops. With quite a bit to it. There's the front of um, that side, and this is the front of this side. Well, what I was thinking was <clears throat> um, I need some pages. I've got nothing in there. All I've got is two little eco-dyed sheets there, which are lovely, but that's it. You know, I want a bit more in there than that, and I need it so that I can hold that open. That's meant to stay open when you've got your pages in, you see, like that. So i got to put some pages in. So I was thinking about that, and I'm thinking about all those um, mushroom stamps I've got, uh, you know, these ones. And uh, I've got some naturey ones there with some leaping hairs. And I've got some leaves here, leaf designs there. And I've got these beetles. I love using those beetles. I've used them quite a bit. And what else have we got? I've got a Tim Holtz one with some mushrooms on it. Yeah. Nice mushrooms. And um, I've got this Tim Holtz stamp set which i love i really love this with all the um labels and things on it like field label and um specimen and uh these little bits with little flowers drawn in and a little butterfly and a bird and oh, i love that sort awesome. of thing. so that would be quite handy okay. and i haven't really okay. used it very much and then i've got this old one which is um poppy seeds stamp which i've used quite a bit and this stamp of fantasy mushrooms which might be quite good so we've got all those and uh <clears throat> that's what it would be what, 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 what? do you have your headphones on oh no i haven't yeah i'll put that on now so you don't get that horrible echo yeah. sorry about that Thank think you. did not think see we're doing that today just let me plug it in. We're doing things on the fly today. It's Wick Wednesday. Wicked Wednesday. A Wick Wednesday. Wick is a Yorkshire word meaning live, alive, living, lively. Over here, but it's it has wicked. has other meanings as well. Wicked and Sorry? It's wicked. So. All right. All right. You go for it. Go on. And um, I've also got myself uh, one of these because I had one before and it did not work. This is a stamping platform. Kerry was just talking about them in one of his uh, streams that um, um, videos he did. And um, I was just, these are, this is a We Are Memory Keepers one. Now, I quite like most of the We Are Memory Keepers stuff that I bought. I don't think I've had much problem except something turned up broken once. So these seem to work pretty well. They're quite sturdy. So I thought I'd try that one. And it's the one that's closest to the Stamparatus, which is has been discontinued. God knows why, because it was beloved by many. And I think it's something to do with um, Misty getting on the bandwagon and saying, you can't do that, that's ours. 
or something. I don't know. It could just be that they haven't sold as many as they thought they would, but I don't think that's the case. Anyway, so this is the closest to that kind of thing with the um, two sides with the pegs. The other one had a hinge at the one side and a hinge at another. So you could have um, this one is one plate, but I, I think one plate's going to be okay for me. But I've ordered another thing which has the little bit that goes across and the little stamps that go with them to go across. You just move them peg by peg. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. So this one should be better because quite often I find that I've got something I'm stamping and I want something in that position, you know, a, a particular position on, on a piece I've got. And I stamp it and it doesn't stamp properly. If you remember from the last live, I was doing that. And it was so frustrating, especially with new stamps, because new stamps can sometimes have that sticky stuff on that seems to stop them from being able to stamp until you've left the stays on ink on them for a while and they get a bit more sort of seasoned, you know, rather like a gel plate, I guess. Let me raise this up a bit because you can't really see much that we're far down and I can't get my head in. <laughs> so I've got to have my head in. It's a big head. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that was why I bought that because um, I, I think I'm going to need it, especially if you've got a really nice layout of everything else. So the last thing you want to do is put the stamp on and then it doesn't stamp very well. So I thought this might help me to cure that problem. Okay, so that's enough of that for now. Pop it back down there. Now then, the other thing I've got is this. We were talking about it. Somebody was talking about it. This lovely book. And has anybody heard of it? And nobody seemed to have heard of Michael Demeng, and I couldn't believe it. He's an absolute hero of mine, Michael Demeng. He's a wonderful, wonderful artist in uh, rusty things that's why he's got this book the secret of rusty things i think he's got a few other books as well but this yeah. is the one that i really loved and there i i heard of some people who had actually been on a workshop with him oh i would love to do that but i couldn't do that at that time and i don't know whether he's still doing them or and i still can't really i've got a dog so <laughs> so this is wonderful I mean, he's got some gorgeous things in this book. Absolutely stunning stuff. Oh, look at that. Aww. With the, this chain hanging loose. And that's that's loose. That That's not set in that position. So, oh, that's, that's lovely. I love things like that. Really nice. Crunchy. Even looks like it's some sort of fish, but I think it's a leaf. A couple of leaves. Well, hey, and he used uh, he's used nails for teeth, look, or moustache, depending on how you look at it. And it's just lovely. He's, this is the guy that started me using Chroma Crackle because he was the sort of champion of Chroma Crackle when it first came out. In fact, he, I think they sort of made it to his direction, as it were, because he'd been trying with them. Um, he, he found an occasion where he's mixing lots of things and using lots of stuff on his desk and, and workplace and off he was going and um, he uh, accidentally managed to get some paint on top of some glue and then he saw that it crackled and that got him going about oh oh i'd love to, be able to do this let, let me try with another glue let's try again and he kept trying till he got it down quite good but uh, this this other company came along this um chroma people and uh, in discussion with them, they came up with this um, chroma crackle paste, which I have loved using. And it's so hard to get hold of. It really is in this country. I think you can get hold of it in America, no problem. And Canada, I believe it's made in Canada. Anne says oh, that she lovely. has the book. And Paula says she wants the book. And Eddie says you're only at the contents page and he already loves the book. Yeah, exactly. It is wonderful. It's just wonderful. Look at him sort of working on stuff. And it tell, he goes through things and explains how he how he goes through it, how he makes a plan. And um, then he gets to a point where he can't he can't work anymore on the plan because he's just got to get his hands dirty and do it, you know. And then it comes together more or less how it does for, for me because I'll collect together loads of bits and um, then I'll get to a point where I've done something and I'm going, oh, I need something like this for that. 
And then I've either got to buy or go and hunt in the summer house or somewhere to see if I can find something that will do that. But it's only after you've started building that you start to know what you're what you're doing and what you're going to use. Because you can plan as much as you like until you actually get it in front of you. You don't know what's going to suit you until you... Like last night, I was coming down here and looking at these cabs. I've got green and I've got blue. And I was putting this over and going, nah, not sure. Uh, not sure. I'm wondering if maybe this mesh is a bit too wide. I've got some other mesh, but I can't find it yet, so I've got to keep looking. And I also got to a point where I don't know where I probably moved it, but there was something that was shiny. It was either a lid or, or something like that, like that, and it looks better on that shiny. I've noticed that. So what I normally do when I'm doing eyes is I put a bit of tip kitchen foil on the back and that gives it a lovely sparkle absolutely lovely and you get much more reflection then bouncing off the back of the cabochon so that's what i was thinking about the other night i would crochet a net over it yeah well it might be a bit too obtrusive that's why i was wondering about this you see i has got some shine and and one of ian's thoughts was to put some Paint it black. I wasn't going to paint it black. What I could do is go over it with darkening patina. That might that might work better. You'd have to do it and then have a look at it with the eye underneath. You see, these are beetle eyes intended to be. Now that's something I was going to talk about as well. So let's have a minute. Let's have a look through this nice little thing, telling you all these interesting things. There's a story about the secondhand story went into, and I got an iron thingy. Oh, some of these things are just lovely. I mean, he he puts things together and he finds things. And, and you know, I mean, he makes the, the uses bits of metal to make the prongs of the sun, the rays of the sun there for that, for instance. Can you see that? It's a bit shiny, isn't it? Hang on. See? I'm looking at the one above it that has nails sticking out of it. And the one off to the left has nails sticking out of it. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. Well, it's just got some uh, a picture in it of him working at something. Yeah. I just wish we had more places I could go to to find things like this. And, and I'm sure and, uh, it is very great that we haven't. <laughs> Paula said that he, he does, uh, he has the other book, Dusty Diablos. Um, if anyone, does anyone uh, have that book by him? I don't, I don't think. I no, thought I, I had it in yeah. ebook format, so. Let me oh. see. Uh, is he using fire there? No, he might be using fire there. That no, that's some um, sparks. From... I do like to use fire uh, heat on copper to get different colours. I like that. And there's some fabulous things in here. Uh, you, you can now see that the chains are hanging in a different way to prove that they're not stuck in that one position. You see. Paula, I have Dusty Diablo in, in uh, ebook. And here he is showing how he made that with a, a face mask. See? Put the mask on there, and then he's doing things to it. So you can read the description where he explains what he does. And it's this is just a lovely book. It's just got so much gorgeous stuff. There's Michael Domain. There's my good yeah. mate. It's probably a lot older by now because I know I am <laughs> since I bought this book. Lovely things. I mean, there's a telephone dial there. Oh, I'd love one of those. Oh, yeah. You know those old telephone dials? Yep. Lovely. Ian has uh, filled my boot with lots of plant, plastic plant pots to go to the um, rubbish tip. That's fine. And he's put some uh, keyboards and things behind the driver's seat. Well, he's going to work tomorrow, so I should be getting those out and having a look at them <laughs> before they go anywhere. Just in case, you know, might be something interesting. You never know. Mm-hmm. I love things like that. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? 
it sort of looks like some sort of well i don't know what it is but it's a thing it's a thing that does something is that's what that's what i like about these sort of things they look as if you knew how to work it you could get it to do something that's what i like things Thank vishnu you. dreaming <laughs> lovely stuff all these but i wanted to show you something else as well that i was thinking about okay let's have enough of that one and have a look at these i just got myself some magazines i'm still fondling the the somerset issue that you showcased last week or two weeks yeah. ago Mm -hmm. So it's focused because I like things like that. Ooh. Wildflower. Now, I've never seen this magazine before, so that's interesting to have a look at and see what's in there. I know there's some lovely purple tulips because I think basically I bought it for that. <laughs> lovely pictures. That's somewhere I'd like to be sitting and call the waiter. <laughs> Bring the gin. <laughs> Just bring the bottle. <laughs> oh, no, he has to bring it in a special glass. There we are, tulips. That's, that's, that really pulled me in, that one. And you yeah, can imagine being able to use something like this in your journal, you know? So, yes. So that's why I got that one. And there's lots of nice things in here that you can use things off. I mean, you could even just cut out the napkin there and just use it as a pattern piece on something. Yeah. Couldn't you? Paula, I was, I'm was. i still fondling the Somerset magazine that Fran. Um, oh, I like that. Two weeks ago. Hold on. That little basket. Lovely little basket. I had it right here. Where'd it go? I Don't it know. Out. It's over there. <laughs> Funny girl. Funny girl. Well, oh, look at this. Look. I'm sure I've got pages that I've got these things in them. I'm sure it's some sort of. To look at this. No, it probably doesn't. Or if it does, I'll have to. Yeah. There it is. But there you go. That one. Oh, these are lovely. Yep. That one, that one Paula. Quite, that was nice. Quite thick. That's a heck of a headboard for a bed look. Ooh, interesting. There's some fussy cut stuff in there. Yeah, there's stuff you can cut out, yeah. So they, these things are nice to look at, but you can also cut them out and use them in um, the nice bits in your... Oh, what was that? That's a heck of a crown. 68th of May's coronation. Mm, interesting. Hi, Abby. How you feeling today, Abby? Where's Trish? Is she home? And then also, Hi, Diana. I've got this. Now, I like this magazine very much. It's got some wonderful landscape views in here. Really has dreamy landscape views. And look at that lovely pitcher plant. Ooh. Ooh. Metal butterflies. Somebody selling metal butterflies. Yep, I think all of us, a lot of us, have been thinking of Trish today. Hope her test went well. Keep going. Well, What's look at okay. that. Look at that. Mother and baby hug a small branch. Oh. Oh. Oh, she's still out there having tests. Okay. Okay. We're thinking of her. Yeah. It's a haze. Dormouse, that's what they are. I wondered if they were dormice. Hazel dormouse. Aren't they so tiny? Oh, sweet. Sure. They're rodents. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Lovely. 
Great mullion, yes, I've grown that. Oh, look at that. A carpet of garlic plants. I think it was, Lisa, a jack in the pulpit. Huh? What was a jack in the pulpit? That flower way back. It looked right there in your hand. Turn your, turn your, nope, too late. Nope, back the other way. Up oh, right there, right there, right there. Pull the page, turn the page. Just turn the page. No, 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 just to turn that whole pile right there. Back the other way, Fran. Which way? The pile in your right hand, turn it. Stop right there. Stop. No. Keep. No. See the pile in your right hand? Right there. Stop. Stop. That. That's a pitcher plant. That's not a jack in the pulpit? That's pitcher plant. I don't know if it might be called jack in the pulpit, but I don't think so. I think that's a different thing. This is a pitcher plant. It catches flies and eats them. Beautiful. Yeah. I've got a phone call. Is everything okay? I don't know. I didn't pick it up. So. No, I, Trisha. Live stream. Yeah. I'll call her back. It's Trisha. I hope there's nothing wrong. I can I can cover if you need to go check. No, it might just be news of, of stuff. I'll call her after the okay. live. It's all right. So the. That's what uh, I got landscape for. I mean, you can see by the cover, it's gorgeous, absolutely wonderful. So there we go. Those are things that you can use in um, journaling as well. There's one, there's everything else. And I've got here and there some boxes full of stuff. So I've got all my stuff in here, some things that I'm looking at and deciding what I'm going to use and nice bits of card uh, an impression plate from uh, one of the p &M studio stamps I think I can't remember what that one is the little boxes one anyway mm -hmm. uh, this because I love that. love that sorry is it too close yeah a little is that bit. better yeah and these um Discs that I made some while back. Other bits of card, you know, with um, different serrations. And various bits and bobsies in here, including this nice stones. These lovely little stones. You can always use things like that on something like that. You know, mm -hmm. put it on the front. Oh, you can't see. Sorry. I was just demoing where I might put it. You could either put it cover, front or back cover, but then, of course, you can't put it down flat. Or you could put it on there, on the spine like that. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Or you could put it inside if you leave enough room for it. So that's too big to go in there. That's for another thing. But this is quite nice. I like when um, you've used it a few times on ink and you start to get some nice color on it, you know. Ooh, lovely. So there's those, and then there's this. There's this. You never know what this could be. Well, here's my sketch of a beetle. What I'm thinking of. It won't look anything like that by the time it's finished. Highly unlikely. But I've also got this, which I got a while back. And I've got all these little bits in here these i'm thinking would make nice little beetle legs maybe but they're not don't look very sturdy so i may change my mind about those but it's nice to think about you know and i'm thinking this would be lovely to put um i'm thinking that this beetle is sort of like a medicine man right and this is his caravan so he's going to have um things underneath that will allow it to move like that yeah and the beetle will be pulling it along probably from this end because uh, otherwise they're um 
the spout is in the way, or maybe the spout will help hold the beetle up. I'm not sure. We'll think about that. Yes, a beetle caravan. And this is going to be part of the beetle. Like that. You can see the shape is the right sort of shape for a beetle. So then you've got your, your feet coming up. But as I say, I'm thinking they might be a little bit thin. So, and then uh, I want to put uh, the eyes on his head part, <coughs> which is why I'm thinking about... These, you see, two eyes with the. Yeah, now I might, do, that's a thought, I might do that in one piece and dent in between the two. <clears throat> and I was thinking that perhaps, oh, where did I put it? Yeah, oh, this is part of the, the, um, the, uh, Chair. Yeah, uh, um, FS tribe. Tribe, yes. I think crawl, that might be a big. Crawl, fish, or swim? No, crawl. Crawl, fly, swim. Fly, swim. Okay. Yeah. So I was thinking I could also, uh, I could maybe use the uh, uh, air dry clay. <clears throat> yeah, to make the, find anything else that will make that. Right, so then we've got this. <coughs> his body, his carapace, the back, and um, his eyes and that. So I've got to think about antenna. Well, antenna, I was wondering about perhaps that for an antenna. Maybe. It's a little bit flimsy. Or maybe I'll end up using a couple of these for antenna. That might work better mm. as antenna. Pokey pokey. Because they're quite thin. Hi, Are they Maria. just... Uh, they're those things that you... Uh, uh, an interdental brush... And I've never used brushes. I just went, ooh, craft. <laughs> like you do. And then I've got this, which I love to use, but I don't see that it's got any use there. But I've also got <clears throat> this, which may come in handy, if not for the beetle, because I think it might be a bit heavy for the beetle, that, because it's proper iron hefty but i might use it as a chain to go around the front of that you know well to sort of lock up his medicine the chest to pull the lamp that lamp be, what lamp that can be what for the lamp teapot yeah kettle teapot yeah but no, i don't think so because that would weigh down the beetle and the beetles coming across as quite light to me at the moment Hi, Carla. So I'm thinking about how I'm going to arrange for the feet. I think they might have to be made of quite sturdy stuff. Perhaps I'll need to make a, <clears throat> a thingy, a skeleton oh, out of wire or an armature. Store. You need to go to a thrift store and find an old toy car and take the wheels and axle off and somehow incorporate it in underneath or for it to roll, for your beetle to roll. That would need quite a large car. I don't know that they make them that big. I mean, in any case, we don't have thrift stores around here. I, uh, we used to have one in Colchester, and it got closed down because the council increased the rent so much. Yeah. Yeah. It's the way it goes. So we don't have one. <clears throat> We've got um, uh, charity shops, but they don't have old things. They only have things that are still of use, you know. They, they don't have a bin with loads of things you can't use, unfortunately. Now, I did have some bits of card I'd cut to test out yeah, being, yeah. Um, yeah. being uh, shelving inside. But I don't know where they went, so <laughs> forget about them for now. But on the shelves, I was going to put these. These sweet little bottles I've got. And they're all oh, different. Uh, so that one would hang from something because it, it won't sit upright. This one can stand upright. This one, the heart one, can't. So that would hang from something. That one will sit upright. 
that one will sit upright. So these ones are all nice. And that one, I think that one still sits upright. If not, I can hang that one as well. So you see, I've got quite a nice little arrangement of things, or a possibility. But I've also got other colour of uh, <coughs> bottles somewhere. I don't know where. So I've got to find those somewhere. And I was thinking, I got these ages ago. <coughs> Camphorated oil, ringworm application, sweet essence of senna, all these sort of things. I'm thinking I could do something like that, but much smaller to go on the little bottles or or make it and make some adverts for him as well so that's what i was thinking on so that will be my uh that's my thought so far for cfs tribe so i'll have to put that remind me i've got to put that in the description as well okay so yes <clears throat> So let's get on, and I want to do a couple of uh, a few four of between four and six um, roundabout uh, uh, thingies, uh, 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 backgrounds, gel print, <laughs> print because I want to make pages, and I'm going to be using that uh, this year because I like the paper. The paper is just the right sort of paper I want for that that book. <clears throat> right, so let's put the kettle away. Perhaps the tea falls coming just now. Right. Ignore the Egyptian queen. <laughs> yes, I think that's a bit too big, that bit too roundy. Lots of these beads I got out. I was sitting staring at them last night thinking, what do I do with that? How can I make that look right? Yeah. Trying it on different backgrounds are going, no. Nope. And there's it. You can see I've got a clear bottle there. I've got some more bottles up here in different sizes, but they're getting a bit too big, those, I think. Bim hops are the oddity. Some of them are quite thin and small, but uh, they're very tall, so they're a lot taller than these. I don't really want to get any taller than that. But I do have those ones made of air dry clay. I thought I might use those as a, maybe as a an advert to hang outside. Say, come to Dr. What am I going to call him? Dr. Something. Paula has a suggestion. What about wow. radio antenna doodars for legs or bits from an umbrella frame? Which I think that's a pretty cool idea. That's possible. I've got an old umbrella or two. Yeah. yeah. I shall have to think about that. But anyway, we'll move him for now and we'll get out some gel plates. And we'll do a little bit of gel printing. And then I've got some more bits to put on the box. I've got some bits that I've... Uh, I've got this one that's got to go on somewhere. I'm not sure where. And I've got this one. And I did have two pieces to go here, one either side. And I'm, they've walked off somewhere, probably in one of those boxes now. Well, let's keep that. That's a... Uh, Evie wants to know, will the beetle and teapot be steampunk? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. Well, I mean, they're pretty much steampunk anyway, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> you can't exactly sort of change that too much. It's already on the way. See, I was divvying about with all sorts of things. I want to do some with this um, burnt orange, uh, the Quinn burnt orange. After all, that was where I got it. Now then, let's get some bits of paper out ready. I'll get those out ready. 
I could sort of, there's one piece from before that, oh, that wasn't this paper though, that was just the same sort of size. Eddie, you would appreciate um, the, this little uh, tail I have, uh, tail, little description I have. So my last name is Johnson. I married Russ Johnson. So when you think of Johnson, if you're a guy, you think of a particular thing. Um, uh -huh. And my maiden name, <laughs> my maiden name is Bush. Yeah. <laughs> what can you do with that, Eddie? <laughs> I dare say there's plenty. I've just got to go and get the right, uh, <laughs> the um, gel plate. Take my headphones off. Bye -bye. Okay. Well, if you'd have yeah. switched, I'd have brought my book out. I'd have... But that's okay. You're not going to be gone long enough. You're just over there. Rusty Johnson. Right? Right, you guys? Right? You get it, right? <laughs> I'm a bad girl. My niece, my niece, um, my oldest sister's daughter, um, gave her a name that she does not appreciate. And my oldest sister passed away when my niece was nine months old, so she didn't know her mom. But um, my sister gave her a name that she does not appreciate. So for as long as I can remember, she's been called Rusty with an I. She's a Amazon. She's big and tall and red hair and freckles and burly and do not. I mean, she'll take you down in a heartbeat. <laughs> but her you come her, of a ferocious family. She, yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, well, I didn't. We didn't grow up. She didn't grow up around us, so um, she didn't get it from us. But. Yeah, my sister, my oldest sister was the largest of all of us, and we all just got shorter and shorter as we got, we were born. Um, but her, she gave her the name of Gailey, one word, Gailey, G-A-Y, right. and she never liked it, and it doesn't suit her. She's more of a rusty or a, or a, a tough chick. She's a tough chick. I'll just say that. Mm-hmm. But I do love her name anyway. Oh, I like that. Did you carve that? No, no, that's oh. a red rubber one. But isn't that a nice image for to go with a, a sort of kettle caravan? I thought. Oh, same sort of vibe. Right. Have to put that in its little place. M managed to get this um, nicely corroded. Don't know if I'm going to be able to find enough room to use it, though. It seems to be a bit full. Ow! I for keep forgetting the end got broken when the postman forced it into the letterbox. We've got oh. it on film. I've been doing that. Idiot. See, I'm not the only one. That's the way I let her get away with saying the word idiot. She says it. <laughs> I've now got three sets of these silly things. And I didn't order any of them. Well, no, I ordered the first one about three years ago. The other two have recently come in place of sprays I had ordered. Don't order anything from USA Direct. They're rubbish. treated me badly not impressed right so I'm going to try some burnt orange don't know if I'm going to get much reaction with that remember him Carla might have a bit of that as well but I'm not sure definitely going to use a bit of this oh no that's pearl I didn't mean pearl uh, White. White. 
take a deep breath. Okay. Or so, something like Titan Bath or Sepia. I want to do some sepia. Bit of that. What's that one? What are you doing hiding over there? Oh, there we are. Quinacridone Nicolazo Gold definitely wants for that. And the Vallejo. And Iridescent gold like new. Diorolite yellow. Oh, I could do a bit of raw sienna. Maybe. I want, I want sort of background colours, you see. Definitely Check. going for background -y. India yellow hue. I think that's a bit strong, that one. Ooh, what was that? What you dropped? There we are, Titan Buff. That's what I'm looking for. Titan Buff. But I've also got that other one, haven't I? Titan Tail. Where's that going? Silver, <laughs> maybe we shouldn't encourage Eddie. <laughs> Why, what's he saying? What's he saying? Tell me what he said. He's <laughs> saying tight and buff, <laughs> right? Okay, naughty boy. No, I don't think I've that one. It must be hidden around the back somewhere, sort of like over here or something. Payne's grey, that would be a help. I like Payne's grey. That would make a lovely background. Yes. <laughs> now, let's have a go with some of that. A little bit of this and a decent amount of the Titan buff, I think. And a bit of uh, Quinn. Yeah, let's start with this then. It is open good. I think Evie and I would sit and just fondle this book. What, well, Michael Domingue's Rusty Pink? No, this is Patterns in Nature. Ooh. Sorry, I wasn't looking. Too busy hunting. Yeah, I know. I'm on the hunt for color. Oh, maybe that's the one I was looking for. Evie's yeah. more Lucy and Fruity. Titan Green Pale, yeah. A little bit of that, I think. Yeah, he's trying to say he's sweet. Is he? Yeah. Harry Violets are now officially in the shop. Yay! Ooh. Thank you, Mariah and Brad. Oh, wonderful. And thank you for all that work. I did see your email on it, um, uh, message, and I will be looking at that. In greater detail, in the hopes of learning something. Check this out. This is where'd it go? Oh my goodness. This is coral. And I started, I got inspired Ooh. by it. Yes, you did, didn't you? Yeah, let me show everybody. I got inspired by it. So I crocheted a little piece of coral. Can anyone see that? I think that's lovely. I just kind of preformed wandered off i was looking through the book and i saw that and i'm like oh i could do that i could do that you see that mariah says she'll put the file in dropbox for you super thank you mariah super, super, super. she super, said super. the uh the family dynamic changed slightly i hope that, oh, yeah. that grandma looks uh young and adorable <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I was looking at this coral and I'm like, look at the way I could just crochet all those different directions. And then you can't see this one over here. This is a this is an ash tree 
bolet, a mushroom that grows near ash or maple trees. Isn't that beautiful? Lovely. This, this is the close-up of a sea fan. I think that's beautiful. Barnacles growing on a rock in salt water. This is details of frost on a glass window pane. I call these um, frost berries, and I have one on my kitchen window in the winter. Uh, oh. Mariah yeah. says, well, there were twins, but they became a brother and sister when the grandparents moved in. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but the twins were just the same one twice, really. Yeah. So I, it's, it was to fill up a sheet. Yeah. This is uh, this one is dry pine needles floating in still water. Ooh, I like that. Sounds delicious. And this is just ice crystals on a window. This is why I like Russ takes excellent pictures distance like the birds up in the sky and that and i tend to like macro um or micro if i could do it but macro i like to get right up close to a flower petal not just the whole flower no. but just the petal i didn't put that down for long that one no you kissed it yeah i just wanted a kiss i didn't want a lot so that's good enough for that one well, I can get a, a second. I can just get the flipping sheets up off the floor. Right. I love the frost fairies. This is um, Patterns in Nature, Eddie, by Marcus Schneck. That's more like what I was thinking of. It's just loaded with inspiration and color. I mean, colors. Look at the color combo. Here's your orange and pink. <laughs> I yeah. love it photography eddie i love i mean it, here's a butterfly but i would want to get up uh even closer still as tree bark tree bark is awesome i've got i've gone around the house taking pictures of the side of my bookcase the corner of a picture frame i have because the it's old and views it just looks great that's what i wanted isn't that lovely let me let me let me let me hold on hold on no, no, you stay there. That's gone. No, 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 I want to see that. I'm not going anywhere. I just want to see that. But isn't that lovely? That's the kind of background I'm looking for. That's the sort of thing I want. For the plant book. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I agree. I thought it was too full, but that's great. So I'm now going to do a similar idea with the paints gray. You go on with your, your magazine because I'm busy peeling paint goobers off the top of paint things okie dokie okay here we have and i probably i'm gonna take a, a guess at this because you can see it's a bird so i have it there's nowhere on here doesn't say what it is but i'm guessing from what i know that it's a, a whippoorwill no that's not a whippoorwill what do i want to say um can't be a bob white somewhat the coloring of a thrush Okay, but not um not the don't look like a thrush. No, it's it's a bigger bird. Um, yeah, it's a ptarmigan. Yeah, it's ptarmigan. Ptarmigan. Ah. Ptarmigan, which is isn't that the same thing as a bobwhite? Scottish. Wife? Scottish ptarmigan. I can't. P T. Ptarmigan. Yes. I used to talk to him. We had him wild where I used to live, and I used to talk to him. I can't whistle today. Sorry. I can't do it. Oh, well. Oh, when I go up to Lake Superior, I love to get the camera quail. Thank you. Backwards. Um, okay. I love to get the camera straight down looking in the water because on Lake Superior, the stones are so tumbled and smooth. And I think I might have a few here 
they're just tumbled and smooth, rounded, and when they're wet, they're beautiful. Yes, I have rocked them again. Right, a quick kiss beautiful. and then up. Go ahead. Can we see? Oh, yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. Good enough. There you go. Ooh. This is a twelve by fourteen plate, this one, so I wanted to get as much on as I could. Look at that, Brad. Like oh, that. that's nice. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. What what what? Oh, yeah, lovely creature. Look at that one. Yeah, beautifully photographed. Absolutely lovely. That's, that's super, that one. On a little bit more of the red in, I think. Uh, I might have to have a get another sheet out. So I want this again. Hi, Carol. Welcome back, Carol. Huh? Right, Carla? We used to have chickens and, and roosters, and the roosters all had their own little harem. And I love to go out during the day and just uh, 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 and get them all riled up. I think there was five of them, so that I would go off, and then another one would go off, and then another one would go. It was like we were all checking in. Talk to the end. I bet they were all say, who's that odd one? <laughs> you never see that one. It's the ghost one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the lady out in the front yard. You've got some good color combos. You're really thinking this out. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Linda, the kiss the kiss technique is you barely touch the paper to the to the uh, plate. See, barely... I'm putting it down, and I'm going across it all over, but I've finger touched. Oh, yeah, barely like. it's not quite the kissing technique. The kissing technique is more. Uh, put it down and just kiss that oh. corner. Oh, bring that, that. that I like. You see that bit where there's nothing there? I would just pop that down like that and just pick up a little bit for it. See? So that was a kiss. And I've even got some selling going on up here. That's lovely. Right, so that's a good one. Oh, I know, Abby. I, it's another one out of here. We live in North Carolina and not be off and wandering in some park or or a hillside or something. Yeah, I'm citified too, but it's, I live in cities and towns, but man, I miss living out in the country in the boonies. My ex was horrible, but I don't, I, I don't miss him at all or his family, but I do miss the, where I live there. Ooh, now that's lovely. Yeah. Look at that. I, that's that's uh, what I want. That's what I want. That's wonderful. That's going to be so good. Yeah. I could do some more like that. Yeah. So let's try with a little less ink, and I might be able to get away with them. Um, well, we'll still have the same colors, but I think I might have to try a little bit of this Quinn. Wasn't burnt. that beautiful, Colleen? Yeah. Colleen's like, oh. Wait a minute. Is this heavy body? Right, Carla? Just, so, yeah. High viscous, heavy body. That's I won't use that then, heavy body, because it will not react in the same way that the other colors do, because these are all high flow. So we'll keep to the high flow. Well, didn't, uh, didn't P say you could add a um, um, retarder or something to it and help? Yeah, it? but I've, tr I've done that before, but it doesn't mix in. You've got to have it really well mixed in and quite a bit of it, and the high-flow medium to get it to run in the same way as this. Now, I've tried mixing high-flow medium with uh, heavy body paints on the 
or even just with um, fluid acrylics on the gel plate. And it's not enough. You still get some bits that um, s stick to the plate much more securely than the rest of these do. They don't come off at the same rate and you end up with little round circles and ovals all over the place. So, no, I hey, don't want to do that. Um, Abby, if I were there, I'd take you for a ride. We might get Let's lost. try this. That's quite dark for where you're going, so I want to see what you and do. And this. Red iron oxide. Now I'm going to try. This is probably too strong, but I, I must try a little bit of this. India yellow hue. Yeah, that should be about enough now, right? So I've got some lighter spots. Okay, there we go. And I haven't put any of that Titan Green Pale or Titan Buff in, so this is going to be quite dark. I'll probably put some in when I do the second pull, because once again I've used a lot of color. Because I'm using three colors, so I would, wouldn't I? Nice. And I'm pushing this one down quite a bit because I want to lift up a good deal of it like that. So that's quite dark. So now I'm going to add some of the lighter colours to that. I'll still get some of that down there, but I'll get some of the lighter stuff, like the Titan Green Pale. And a bit of the Titan Buff, just a little bit of the Titan Buff. Because that's got a more of a yellow cast to it, only a little bit. Wow. Right. Now I can do the same thing again with just a touch. I'm not going to rub that off. <sighs> Trying to pick up. One sheet of paper when there's six there, and it's dark over there. I'm just doing this lightly. So this is not a hard pull. There we go. Okay. That's that's nice colour. Uh, that will go well with that book, won't it? You've got right there. You've got a whole. You've got a field of yellow wildflowers and purple flower lupins and uh, sunspots and the river running through it and, and the blue sky. Yeah, I know that's wow. there. You get that sort of feel. Yeah. Oh dear, it landed on top of another one. Just a minute. I've got to shift it. Stop it. I'm drawing. Vent. There we go. Right, now I want a little bit of the Quinacridone Nicoloso Gold. As close to burnt orange as I can get without using the burnt orange. I did order some burnt orange in this, but they didn't have it on Jackson, so I've got to wait for this other firm. It takes so long to finally get it to me. So I think I'll use a little bit of that Sorry, raw sea, uh, not the raw sienna, this one, the Indian yellow, because th that worked quite well. But I also want some of the – come on, wipe off. You're supposed to be wiping your nose, not dribbling everywhere, dear. Uh, Titan green pale. I'm not putting it at the top. I'm going to put a little bit of the Payne's Grey at the top. And a little bit in the middle. That's enough. Still got some colour on here, so let's mix it all in.
Oh, that's nice and smoky down there, but it's a bit too dark up there. Let me try and shift that down a bit. There we are. That's a bit better. Let's see how that goes. Right. Another sheet. I'm having too much fun here. I've now got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sheets down there. <laughs> going. Yeah. So I was telling you about where I used to live. This is um, me standing in my yard looking. Oh, Fran. I'm not so That's sure about that one. I don't know. I, I love that I one. Did. That's lovely. Yes. I love that one. You can always go over it with a um, a little bit of uh, uh, a white spray or a white gesso if you want to knock it back. But I like that. I like it very much. This is a picture I took standing in my yard looking between the shrubbery out into a cornfield. And there was a deer. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Well, there he is. We named him Buddy Buck. Uh -huh. There he is in the in the bean field with you could see his rack. Uh huh. They all have racks. There's three of them there. And my ex was a hunter. There's three of them. A there. what? Your ex was a what? He was a hunter of deer. He would go out deer. Oh hunting. right. And he would be out there for hours. Look at these are close up. I would walk out. No, they didn't <laughs> eat the crops. They didn't eat the beans, although the corn, I'm sure they Look, did. there's the deer. Look, there's the deer there. Or maybe a buffalo. <laughs> Very cool. Lovely. I like that. It Very wasn't, nice. It was in our cornfield. It was in our field. And so I wasn't real concerned, but I used to walk out to the field and get, I mean, he wasn't that far away from me. This is the same deer. This one over here, same deer. Every year he would come back. This is in our backyard. And we had, we could put a salt block out there during the off hunting season. There's two of them there, one there and one there. And my ex was a hunter, and he would get, I don't think you can see the ones in this picture. He would get extremely, oh, this one is a hawk. He would get extremely uh, annoyed at me. This one is a, quite a few in the field. Because I could walk out into the field and take these pictures or go out in the backyard and get these pictures. And as soon as he, he would stay in the house and be priming his, uh, he uh did, no he didn't use a gun he didn't do firearms he did a bow and arrow he had a uh, right. uh, we both had one i had one too um the bow and arrow but anyway he'd be in in the house getting everything ready to go out hunting and they'd just disappear <laughs> they were just he was oh, coming was just, like i could be stuck i could be out there like for an hour taking pictures left and right and be in heaven and as soon as i walked in the house i'd see he's getting his gear on and getting ready to go out and you could look out in the window and see they just disappear <laughs> yep they went he's coming everybody go it's the nice lady yeah her husband's coming run yeah. <laughs> so mad at me <laughs> i like that That was sepia. Gonna try the sepia. No, raw sienna, beg your pardon. Raw sienna. And I'm gonna try the sepia, which is darker. And I have I have That's pictures. Pain, right? I don't have them in front of me, but I have pictures of there were so many deer in that field one one year that I couldn't count them all. And it was a it was a um what's the word? Pathway. There was a pathway through there, so we know they came through there. 
but there, one year there were so many I just couldn't count them all. This is a picture I took of a fungus growing on a dead tree stump. See, I like macro. Eddie, Ooh, that's lovely. that I had a, a vibe, that I had an energy that they trusted. Well, I took some pictures with my macro lens yesterday. Yeah. First time. I have no idea how they turned out. I can't figure that part out yet. Got to go and look at the manual. Oh, there should be, if there's a card in your camera, you just pull the card out and put it in your computer. Yeah, I want to look at what's on there now. It's only 35 pictures on there. I haven't taken it out yet. No, it wasn't. I don't know I what just you want to see like trail, um, Carla, but we just knew we lived across the street from the conservation area. It was a conservation area in Illinois. And we lived on a, a dead end uh, dirt road. And across the street, across the road was like thousands of acres of a conservation area. So, um, and they had um, pheasant. It was a pheasant farm they had nearby. In fact, my father-in-law worked as a uh, at the pheasant farm. So sometimes when the pheasant hunters were out in the conservation area hunting pheasant, the pheasants would fly up and they'd come right to our house. We had a two-story house. They'd run into the house and break their neck. And I would run out there. I didn't keep them because we didn't like pheasant, but I would pluck enough feathers that I did a lot of crafts with the feathers. That's quite nice, that one. I want a bit more contrast in there, but uh, maybe a bit more green. Fluorescent green? No, no, not fluorescent. Maybe some green gold or something. That's nice, though, isn't it? Very I camo. Like that one. Bit of yellow, I think. Bit more yellow in that. Next time. So that was raw sienna. And it was uh, sepia. And I want to add some uh, India yellow to that. And I want to lighten it a bit with the Titan Green Pale. That's enough. Probably way too much. I don't care. I'll get two sheets out of that one. Now this reminds me of one of the pictures in my book over here. That's really cool colors. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's take that with a spare sheet. Oh, that's not bad at all. So that's just sort of an ordinary plain sheet. That's not one of these um, sheets I'm using down here. That's just to pick up the excess sort of thing. And I want to add a little bit of Payne's Grey, I think. Don't want to use that, but I do want to use green gold. A little bit of green gold. Wow. And I want more of the, where's it gone? Titan Green Pale. This is such a nice change from pink and orange. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. And I wanted to tell Paula if she's still here. Um, I did it. I showed Fran, so I won't show here, but I will post pictures in Makers. I did the the orange and pink challenge collab, whatever you call that hashtag. Uh, combo color combo. Yeah, April color combo. Yeah. So um, you got me, woman. I did the pink and orange. I've got two pools that are worthy of, uh, I'll get a picture of them and post them in Makers and hashtag it. 
and I'll tag you on it, Paula. She went off to do her dinner. Yeah, it took me about five tries, five pulls before I got um, Diane, before I got one that I thought, okay, I can, I can do that. I like those colors. That's not too bad at all, is it? No, it isn't. I like those. That's I a good one. Those in the book. Yeah, I can see that in the book. And let's have another one to pick up the excess. See what we get. Oh, come on. The blinking pages always want to stick together. Just because you're mates, there's no reason for it. Color Combo April. Hashtag Color Combo April. Thank you, Mariah. You will see. You know, I don't usually do that, but or, or, or play along because I. by the time I get to it, y'all are a year later. That is lovely. I, like I love that. that. I like the cells on that one. A little bit off the edge there. Hashtag. Are yeah. You, you betcha. Off the edge there. Yes, Belinda, she's making a backgrounds for um, a journal that she made that it does to me, Anne, um, that, that she made. It's Without any innards. Need some innards. So these yeah, are the, going to be the innards for the. It's like a botanical, botanical journal. It's got some nice colors. I like it, actually. Um, but it needs signatures. It needs pages inside. So that's what she's. See, at the moment, I just have this. Which isn't bad. Which isn't bad. There you go. But uh, it needs more. It's just the foldy overs. It needs more to it. You see? So signatures. The only piece of paper I got here are these two eco prints I did three or four years ago. Part of a batch I did that. I must do some more this year. I really must. I keep saying that and then I don't. Well. Well, I'm participating, Mariah. I'm not. Uh, I'm not a YouTuber. There, you, 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 this is as much as you're going to see me on YouTube. I did one video, and nope, that's enough. I'll I'll sit here and and uh, infringe on Fran's time. Ha ha ha. No, you won't. You'll sit there and do as you're told. <laughs> <laughs> you yes. you get to infringe a bit more. Okay. <laughs> Nicolazo gold. Let's have a little bit of Nicolazo gold. Brighten yes, things up a bit. Right. Don't let me, don't let me interrupt your flow. So Ooh. now I've got uh, three more colours: green gold, okay, Eddie. Titan Thanks pale. For being here. Bye, Eddie. And uh, Quinn Nicolazo gold. I'm just going to add a little bit of the Indian yellow because I like that lighter colour, but not a lot. That's enough. Wow. Look at all those colors. I'm going back to the paint gray. Yeah. And it, 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 it is, you do have the giant plate. That is the giant plate. Um, yeah, this is the 12 or 14. Yeah. Yes. So you've got a bit of room to mess about. Okay, the Payne's Gray edition was a good idea. Yep, it sort of turns things down a bit. Yeah. Wiki wiki. Whoa. That's good enough. That's good enough. I don't need to dip it any more times, I don't think. Oh, well, I'll just get that little bit there. There we are. That's it. The rest can come up on the next sheet. Ah! Got to go rescue that one. It went It went face down. Got to rescue the cow. Ah. Hey, Mariah, if you're still here, did you get your mail? Did you get a package or did my... 
Patricia, get a, get a package in the mail. I got notification. And then I forgot to ask you yesterday. So hopefully you did. Or maybe you haven't gone and got it yet. I keep forgetting you go to the post office. Hmm? You aren't talking to me, were you? No, I wasn't. I was talking to Mariah. Because I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. Well, I pulled. I put it behind me and it went down, face down onto the, the paint side down onto the paint side of another one already down there. So I had to jump up quick. <sighs> Let's hope this one's going to be a nice one. Oh, this is a lovely one. Isn't that lovely? Nice and warm and little bits of bluey grey. and oh, That's lovely, that is. I'm running out of places to put these. I'm going to have to stop this, you know. <laughs> Yeah, Evie got her. Evie and Trish got their teacups yesterday. Trish got one too, right? Didn't I send Trish one too, Evie? I thought I did. And if I didn't, Fran's still waiting on hers. She hasn't bought her tickets to the U.S. yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll be a yeah. few months quarantine with a dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, but wouldn't I love having Rush, Rufus too? Yes, I would. <laughs> I would. Right. Sorry, my um, cable's falling down. Yep. Just went to the mailbox. Okay, well, it can wait till tomorrow, till what? So Thursday thinking, whatever. Thursday thoughts, whatever. Just making sure. A nice one, nice and calm. Yeah, good. Uh, no way to put it. <laughs> Straight. This is a very. It's going to have to be the last one. You running out of room? Yeah, running out of room. No way to put anything. Oh, that's a nice one. That's lovely. I like that. Mm. I like it little... that way. I like it. Uh, the ghost print. Yeah. I might get one oh, more of you. That sounds good to me. Um, Evie, I know. And, and I'm sorry I used so much tape, but the darn tape wasn't sticking right. So I over taped it. And I, I worried about, well, you're going to struggle to get it open. That, but that just made the suspense better. <laughs> And P's redemption on the gel plate tomorrow. Okay. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. I'm just nipping up these bits here. That's what I did with mine. I have a, a eight by ten plate, and my pages are eight and by eight and a half by eleven. It's like ugh, I'm gonna have to get a bigger plate again. Did you cut one up? Yeah, I did. That's why you have a big one. I, <laughs> And I cut it and I cut it badly, so I basically ruined it. So it's good for brayer offs and whatnot, but I like that. All nice. Of, I do like all, it. There's only one that was like eh, and that's the first one of this, because this is the third pull. Yeah. But the first pull I was like, eh, it's too much. But all the other ones I love. That's them. that's nice and pale, that one. Lovely. Yeah. Well, uh, 
I can't get out now. <laughs> I can't get out. Well, there's more behind me, so it's just a bit difficult. <laughs> well, the thing I've even is, got the moment. If you That's use the right kind of paint, you could just, I just throw them on top of each other and, and cause they're almost dry by the time I toss them aside. Yeah, probably just not quite. Oh, I've got some bits on the edge. I'm just going to get those up before they end up on me. Right, that's enough of gel plating for now. Because I want to put some glue down. I'm going to use a bit of glue. I think this is starting to need a really serious clean, this one. The edges are oogly googly. Serious crocodiling going on over here. Yep. Mine does that. What size? Evie says she loves her number 12 is her favorite, but she uses the 5 by 7s What size is this one? This one is 12 by 14 isn't it? Yep. Yeah. That's my biggie. Yeah. I got two this size, and I do like them very, very much. I, I don't you know. Oh, if... Perry Violet's on one of them. <laughs> <laughs> um. And I like the, I think it's the gel press, whichever one that you guys like. And I don't gel know press. if they have a 9 by 12 I'd have to go look. No, I think it's um, Jelly Arts that has 9 by 12 Or yeah. it, there might be this this other one, which is uh, Gel Elf, I think. But I'm not sure what that's like. Somebody did a review, but he was given a load of plates to do the review. So was that um, Yates Makes did a review on that? Could be. And you know what? I was actually, because I was feeling all mad scientist-y, um, I was actually thinking about making my own. Oh, yeah. Just to see Well, if I you've got a nice smooth bottomed tray to do that in, I haven't got a tray like that. I keep looking out for one, but they've all got little imprints on the bottom, you know. Made in Japan! Well... If that's the case, if that's all I can find, then I'll just use only one side. Yeah, but that, that if it's the in, if it's an indentation that goes through from the outside to the inside, and on one side it's an, an indentation, on the other one, other side it's um proud of the surface. You're going to get that on both sides, and also you want to make a gel plate, so you've got to have high edges to hold in the gel, haven't you? Right. Well, edges yeah. anyway. You can't sort of do it on a flat plate like that with your edges going down like that, can you? Well, Diane, you said she, she made smaller ones and they held up well. Uh-huh. Okay. So it's they... easier to get a small um, tray with, uh, with less, with no, you know, a really cheapy one, in other words, without any kind of mark, maker's mark on it. I've got to take my headphones off so I can go and get rid of this and clear a path through. Okay. So I'll be back in a sec, okay? Okay, I'm bringing my camera up. Good. Okay. Let's go back to the book. Let's go back to the book. Get it backwards. Me nudging everything. Look at all the goodies here. Silly camera. We'll just, we'll just admire and be inspired. Look at this. How was my camera going down? Oh. I'm still here, kind of. Yay. Um, my chair is too close to the stand for the camera. That's all it is. Okay. Oh. What's um, Belinda, I, how I would oh. store it is mine. Um, I stand mine up and... I would get I I'm thinking a nine by twelve is all I want. Just to fill an eight by oh eight and a half by eleven sheet. So nine by twelve is all I want, or something that's close to that size. To store it, I would buy uh the acetate sheets and try to... now oh. stop it. You're all right. Don't I'm worry sorry. about the camera, just well, I would buy the acetate sheets and oh, I know what it is. That's put one on the it. bottom and one on the top and then stand it up. Look at this. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That's the web of an orb weaving spider.
Ooh. You know who else takes good, um, sometimes good close-up pictures? Not, I don't know if I'd say macro, but close-up pictures is Sharon when she goes on her walks. This is ice, cracked ice on a stream. You can guess what that is. Glowing lava. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, and thank you for being here. Thank you for the thumbs up, everyone. Thank you all. Interesting, Diane. Since it wasn't plugged in. Some sense. We like this one. I think this is yep, that's the one on the front cover. Dunes and Africa Sahara Desert. This is this is a close up of a primary feather of a bald eagle. Wow. Yep, I love macro. I just love macro. This is a wood frog egg mass. You would not know it. Frank could do this. And this is air bubbles encased in ice that formed over moving water. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Thank you, Carla. You know what that is, right? Let's see. Turn the page. Snowflakes. Yeah. Seed pods of a false dandelion, kiwi fruit. These are the. This is the type of uh, macro photography I'd love to do. Uh, <gasps> Giant green sea anemone. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sort of. I kept sort of swearing at the camera for falling down. Well, kind of. And um, turns out that it was me moving the chair. Every time I moved the chair, the lead for the, for the headphones pulled the flipping thing over. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I hope I didn't make anybody too seasick. Right. He was. I must have missed that one. I like to follow Carolyn Evie, so I must have missed that one. It's I'm looking at uh, other stuff on on uh, YouTube lately. Okay. Now, now what? <sighs> now, where's the books? Hello, books. Where have you gone? Back up your camera a bit. There you go. That dad, a girl. There we are. Oh, now I need to tie this back up because um, it was tied up to stop it from falling over. And guess what? It didn't work. It didn't work at all. Just tie that round there. I'm just tying a bit of string to the stand, you see. Okay. Just so that it will not, hopefully, fall over quite so hurriedly. Making a little knot in the string. Ooh. And I'm going to put those pieces that I found for that 
I think I put them up here, but possibly not. They might be in the box. In the box. Yeah, there they are, in the box. Those two pieces. Now, you know I'd done one of those. Yeah. Well, I went and did another one just to match it up, you know, so I got the same pattern. So I can put the two next to each other on this piece like that, do you see? I mean, I'm not sure whether I put them that way or that way. I think I'll put them that way. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to stick that down. <sighs> Are we all calmed down now? <laughs> yeah, take a deep breath. <laughs> oh, dear. <coughs> oh, that was a monster of a collapse. It just kept going over, and I kept thinking, what's going on, panic stations? Um, yeah. I'm rubbing the stone, dying for you to get that house fixed and get back to some normal yeah. semblance and more space. Yeah, well, let's hope for that. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to glue? Put some glue on that one. Okay, Colleen. Uh, we'll see you Friday. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, she has to miss tomorrow. She has an appointment. Okay. Um, replay, can't she? Yeah, and we'll see you Friday then. So you take care and good luck at your appointment. We really appreciate everybody. Yeah, we don't do much or we do silliness, and y'all are still here being so. It's run, wonderful to have you all popping in and watching me falling all over the place. It's just yeah, <laughs> it. look at Anne's being or Fran's being an acrobat today. Mm -hmm. Look how well she did. The clumsy clot. <laughs> what not to do? Don't so, wrap your head lead yeah. around your camera stand because yeah. you'll pop it off and it will go collapse. You are so graceful. <laughs> What a lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong way round. Oh, thank goodness I noticed. What a loon. So the glue dries. There we go. Right, that's better. Lovely. So those two look quite nice. That's not too bad, but it's a bit lonely. Let's move those two. Yeah. It looks a bit lonely. Yeah, we want something yeah. here. Rivets, brads. Oh, good point. Yes. What have I got? I've got these, which are not rivets. Brad. These oh, shiny oh. Chicago screws, but, mm -mm -mm. but I've still got. Other thing, the other Chicago screws, but you need quite a bit of a wedge behind it because my cardboard is thinner than the length of these screws. Well, and that's why or I said Brad's. Oh, or yeah. now that's if you could get in there, yeah, that's possible. Have I got some in the doujima flip? And you don't have to put both sides of the eyelid in, do you? No, you don't. No. On some of the eyelets, I've only got one side to them anyway. Right. right. See, I've got these dark ones. But I've also got some Tim Holtzy things in a big box full of bits and bobsies. Well, even even if you glued down buttons or washers, I mean, those are nice too, well, and then you don't have to poke through. And I've got very few washers, so that's not really a, a likelihood. But I was thinking there might be something 
in the Seriously, box. You need to check Ian's pockets more. I know. Uh, he had he had loads of lovely washes in his pockets, and I said, "Oh, do you need those?" He said, "Yes." <laughs> and put them back in his pocket. I said, I said "Oh, couldn't you let me have some?" He said, "No, <laughs> I, I need these for a job I'm doing." <laughs> I, mean, I got to tell you the story. Our, I bought a package of two giant big uh, tomatoes and they came in a, a cardboard, little cardboard uh, cup thing. So two fit in this cardboard thingy tray. And right. I left the tray on the counter because the kitchen counter, because I'm like, I'm going to come back for it. I'm going to cut the corners off. The very center bottom was the perfect size for a, a journal card or something. Uh-huh. And uh, apparently Russ is not supposed to be in the kitchen touching anything. I don't like that. But apparently mm -hmm. he went in there for, for a snack and saw the cardboard box and threw it in the garbage. Mm -hmm. And a few minutes later, I went in the kitchen while he was still in there to see what he was getting into. And he opened, he got back in the garbage. He goes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And he pulled it back up. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, I was thinking about keeping it, but now that it's been in the garbage, no, 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 it's good. See, it's good. It's okay. It's okay. And he's brushing it off. And I think there were some coffee grounds on it. And he's like, no, it's so good. I'm like, okay, you're well trained now. <laughs> Could have thought of that before. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He gets a little nervous. He gets in my kitchen. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm just looking at these and wondering about them, but they're a bit on the bright side. I suppose I could add some more copper paint to it and do a bit of darkening on them. And I could do another one like that. That was with the um, the glue gun, using the glue from the glue gun. Yeah, you'd and using want something to make the impression. Quite shiny. You'd want to. Yeah, yeah. You want to darken it down a bit first. Teen of them a bit. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to take these off my head and have a look at the box over in that corner, which is just over there. Okay. I'll be able to hear you just about. Yep. So don't say anything you shouldn't. Aw, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was oh, just, I know. I'm just sitting here fiddly and I got, I got some paint samples from the... I forget where we went. Benjamin Moore, so we may have been in Dutch Boy. So I can't remember where we went. Might have been in Menard. But anyway, I was looking at the paint samples. What can I do with them? And I decided I can crochet around for little ephemera inserts. Something I could send to Defy for ephemera. So I just stitched a, a an edging on it, and once I go around, then I can come back with my easy, tiny little crochet hook and crochet some ruffle on there. Hi, Angela. Welcome, welcome. Oh. Think about it. Oh. Think about it. No. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Oh, Property of art department. <laughs> what did you right, do? Right. Oh, it's Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz factory tags. Yeah. Yeah. Quite nice. I might think about those. A little packet of bits. Quite thin metal, these ones, though. What I was thinking about. That's quite a nice little bit. Oh, it's a cat. I thought it was a more abstract thing. Oh, look, and here's some more bottles, bottles I can use in that uh, kettle. Oh, we're just... We're just uh... Fiddling around and playing now, Angela. Just relaxing and playing. Yeah. So I'm waiting for those sheets to dry, then I can start using some of them. 
and I want to do some stamping on them. Yeah. Okay. I've got some nice brass corners there. But that's well, a bit welcome. small for such big brass corners. You better to make some out of cardboard, smaller ones. I was going to say, that wouldn't be a bad idea, but you'd need smaller ones. How about... Yeah. Um, Thunderstorm, bring me there. Bring me there. Where are you? There's some old coppery stuff here. Where are you? Well, we had storms last night, but most of them went north of us. Really didn't bother. I know Illinois had some had some uh, nasty stuff go through. That whole system, that whole line of system, is going across now. Hitting Ohio, um, Indiana, Southern Illinois. All the way up to Montreal, all the way from all the way down from uh, Texas, all the way up to Montreal. But it really didn't leave, leave a, a lot of bother here. I think most the worst of it is uh, Upper Michigan and above, and in this, um, Southern Indiana getting it really bad. Oh, you're in Canada. Yeah. Yep, it's hitting up there. It'll Maybe. Be, uh, Maybe. It's hitting um, Ottawa, Toronto. Um, up that way. Oh, that's quite nice. <clears throat> oh, that's cool. But they're, they're, they need they need some grunging up because they're a bit too pristine. I like the gears. They don't quite go with the the glyphs on the the big square the way the big square. Yeah. Looks. But yeah, numbers. Well, actually, yeah. they do. They do the numbers. So the yeah. the gears would be okay. Well, got some oh, arrows. I like the idea of Brad's. And some more arrows. Same arrows. Where are you? The wide are, ones, like those. If you think of it, let me know, uh, Carla. I like those. Those are nice. Lisa, where are you that the tornadoes were wicked last night? Because I know last week some tornadoes went through um, Arkansas and around Little Ar Little Rock that really tore the heck out of it. And there was a concern for a system that was going through through the middle of the night in the uh, um, Missouri. I think Southern Missouri area. That's what I was watching on tube, YouTube last night. I was watching storm chasers and uh, meteorologists. What are those? Those are Muse tokens. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they would go in the box more than on the box. I quite like that one. Genuine. Yeah, I've always been a, a weather watcher, Lisa. I ha hung out with a uh, storm chaser one season. Okay, so people killed in Missouri. Mix foam, a couple of mix foam things. <laughs> Angela, I love I love following the weather. Yeah. I've got some little knobs. And we're in the season, we're coming into the season now where um like today is Wednesday. So every Wednesday at noon our local uh air siren goes off for tests. 
so it went off today, which means officially in the season. Oh, what do you got there? Those are Brad's? No, those are Chicago Ma. screws. Those are screws. Ma, not those either. These are snap fasteners, I think. Uh, <clears throat> well, if, like if it does, Lisa, I would suggest get an old vehicle. The guy I hung out with that I went out with for a few times was a um, also a... Um, a hamster. A hamster? As in, he was a ham operator. Oh, right. And he had uh, he had a setup in his home, but he also had a setup in his vehicle. And he worked with the um, National Weather Service to report things. Yeah, we got caught in a hailstorm about chasing a, a, either chasing one or running away from one in Illinois. It was pretty, pretty cool. Hairy. Sounds hairy. Oh, I liked it. It was exciting. It's like, what a way to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're crazy, you are. Well, <laughs> the worst things in my life that could happen to me, I think, happened with my ex and his family. So everything now is just a wonderful adventure. Like, ah. That's a great I'm way scared. to look at it. Yeah, I ain't scared. But I would definitely, if I went storm chasing, I would get a beater. I would find an old vehicle that you didn't care if it got hit with hail or lost a fender or <laughs> whatever. Shoot them down on it. You never know. But with a very nice, fast engine. Yes. With it, yes, absolutely. There's Reed. Um, I can never remember his last name, but it's like Reed Timmer or Reed Zimmer. He's a storm, big storm chaser. He has the Dominator vehicle, Dominator 1 and 2. Now then, what am I going to do? That's for something else. I'm not sure about those. There's okay, too shiny, Trish. but you could always... That's them okay, up. Trish. You've, you've had a busy day. You go rest. So I could put some of those on. I'm not sure about that one. It's so different in color, though. But what I could do is when I get some more of this um, glue out, use one of those to make one. Could I do that? Maybe not. They're taking a stretch be stamped backwards. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, I could do it that way round, and then maybe get some metal letters and stamp them in the glue while it was hot. Maybe. That's just a thought. Not sure about those. I quite like these little metal knobs. I might put one on the front on the... Maybe not. I like these. I really like these. Think about those. Yeah. But I think if I'm going to put these on, I think I would like to... I know they look like copper, but I bet you anything you like, they are not copper. They'll turn out to be just um, brass or um, aluminium with some colouring of sorts. And it won't... It won't um, thing. Patinate. It won't patinate. Betcha. I don't mind about that not patinating because it's quite a nice patina anyway. Those, they're good. But these, I would want to patinate them up. So I would want to paint them with copper paint and then get them to match, to, to have similar patination, like I did on this and on this, because that's slug tape on that one. Yeah. So it works on shiny copper. The other thing I'd like to do, which I didn't do on this one, is to, I did a little bit of it just there, is to sand the slug tape down beforehand. Then you've got a less shiny, fake-looking surface. Yeah, but gently, because that if it's just tape, it's it doesn't go very deep. No, exactly. So you've got to be careful not to push too hard when you're pushing through holes you've made. To make the button yeah i want it to break and go through and show a hole but i didn't on that one 
<coughs> much the same applies to these uh, these creatures here, which are these. I got from Captain Cumber Patch, I think. I think it was. I just put them in there because it was easier to keep them in there. But then I've got the mid-form things, which are also not the right metal, but they're a nice metal, though. <clears throat> I could do something with those. I think I've used something out of there. Or well, maybe not, no. Same. So those are possibilities. And these are nice, these knobs, as I said before. And I've got four of those, so I could use some of those like that. Yeah, see that those are right. That's all you need. You don't need a lot because then you just deter from the the uh, plate from the middle plate. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like and I've those. got room to put something on either side anyway. Yeah, I like those. Could just do those. Yeah, simple. Yeah, that may take a bit of doing though. I think I'd have to do it quite carefully, uh, not with a punch because. There's nowhere to get the punch in there. You see, I'd have to do it with. Uh, I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't know how I'd do it. See, I think that's... it might be better to make one out of cardboard. Yeah, that's why I said I would just wash it. On. But you can yeah. easily make your own washer, like you did for oh, the yeah. And, yeah. and cover it with the uh, the copper tape, and then patina it a bit. I think whatever. I'd do the copper paint. It might be easier. Yeah, there you go. And I've got quite a lot of copper paint now. I bought some more. So you did. I know my little pot was running out, but I bought a big pot. So I'm good for a few years yet now. <laughs> there you go. So, there we go. I think that's um, that's about as far as I can take that. That's not supposed to be there. Um, I've ordered some more chocolate blocks. Because I liked that so much. But I don't have any more raincoats. I can take one of those off. So I'm going to have to put something else on. But I think with something else there, that's going to be it for the top. Yeah. I don't need much more on the top. I don't need any more on the top. I might do another one of these and maybe put one each side on there. Now, that would look nice. That's the, the soda can plate, right? No. It's a playing card. Oh, okay. With slug tape on it. Well, shoot, I thought it was the from a soda can. No, that's that's from the soda can, that one. Yeah, okay. It's got a well, look I like to the it. idea of like the playing cards, one on each end, would be good. Uh, you can tell, you see, because the slug tape, again, I didn't sand it down first before putting in the marks and then putting the plaster, uh, the eye zinc stuff on. Yeah. And then fascinating it. So it's a shiny copper that's gone like that. So, yeah. Options, options. So I think that's what I'll do. I'm getting close to finished on this. I do want to go over this with the same colours. There is that. And I did make a... Oh, you guess what? I went and looked at the, the broadcast that, that I did the colours on the top, and I made a note of them. And guess what? But you don't have any more? No, I do. I have more colours. I just lost a bit of paper I wrote it on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sent you the link, so you just Yeah. I'll go go and wash it again. <laughs> you need to you need to uh uh have me go look at it and send you the list and then it's always there. Yeah, it's only three it's only three colours, I think. So <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, so yeah. You, you, tell me. you don't remember what you wrote down? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what did we just say? We just we just can't do that multitasking thing anymore. <laughs> We're full oh, up. No, you can't. That's it. There is no option. Well, I guess it's nearly nine, so maybe we better we better take a breath. I'm sitting there playing in my little box and yeah, take a pulling out things, Everyone looking at treasures. Wonderful. All the thumbs up are great. I appreciate it. We both appreciate it. I noticed that somebody, I don't remember who, but somebody uh, 
left a message on Fran's stream from Monday and she answered. I think. Was it Monday? Right. I did? did I did go and answer some questions. Uh there was one somebody posted something. Uh -huh. And I keep looking at the, the thing they posted and I haven't got a clue what they're talking about. Oh, all right, I have no idea what to say. It's a I get promo SM or something. It's like who? Huh? What? Take a look then. Why? What's that? What? Hmm. I can put it in front of me. That did. Maybe it's just a spam. Look a bit to me like a, a spam um, sort of advert. Yeah. Trying to get an advert. Right? That's what it looked like. That's what it felt like. But I could be wrong. It could just be a genuine suggestion. Only I don't know what it means. <laughs> Well, Carrie and Barbara, it was Barbara. I saw Barbara uh, uh, left you a comment from Monday and you replied. Now, Carrie has left um, two comments over there. So uh -huh. No, I'll have to go and say something. Uh, yeah. one, is, one is for me. Um, he says, loved your take on the color challenge, Fran. Violet, I've got the big shot and I love it, but it's not motorized. And then the next no, comment was, hi, guys, playing catch up again. <laughs> <laughs> well, that if that big shot is like mine, uh, I I used to have electric ones. Well, I still got the electric ones, and I found that it was really difficult to use because when you wanted to do really thick things like the Tim Holtz um, Bigs dies, you yeah. couldn't use them. Well, you could, but I couldn't figure out how because the the machinery, the electric machinery, didn't seem to want to do it. Yeah, I put the same one in a um, in the big shot, <laughs> wind one, and it's fine. It's just fine. It's simple as anything. Not a problem. So I just decided that the big shot was less of an effort than I thought it was going to be. You know, it didn't hurt my arm so much. It didn't really hurt my hand. I thought it would, but it didn't. Well, so I, I don't know. I haven't gone and looked at any of them. I think Ann said something about uh, we could do a video call and she could show me what she's got and how it works. Um, yeah. yeah. So I haven't, I, it was just, like I said, it just, just a thought for a birthday gift because he'll always ask me, what do I want for my birthday? I want it all. <laughs> <laughs> That's the um, trouble. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, another appliance in my craft room is like, I really need to do go some more cleaning up there to make room. Yeah, Ian says that if I ever get everything sorted down here in the kitchen and get up all the craft stuff upstairs out the way again, he will buy the laser cutter. Oh, and he will fund it. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I cool. thought to myself, well, it's probably a good job because by the time I finish paying for everything else, I won't have any money left. <laughs> but you have to pay. Done. You have to get it done. Yeah, I know. I'm. I'm in the I'm past. Working. Done on the twentieth, so I'll get that out of the way first. Because if I then get listed buildings people to come and have a look, um, the path will look how it was always looked, but neater, because it will be the same material, just no weeds coming through. So they can't say a thing about that. It will be like for like, but with uh, um, uh, something to stop the weeds coming through. That's all it'll be. And it'll be good for a wheelchair when I need one. And in any case, they didn't even mention the path in the description. So it's nothing to do with it, really. Oh, so that's all we're going to do. Everybody, everybody we go. move on and, 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 and have, get on with their day. Yes, you can get on with your day. Yes, I mean, let me get this down so I can see what I'm doing and then I can press the right buttons. Let me come back. Ooh. Come back. Here we are. There we go. There we go. I quite like that bit now. I'm liking that. I've got to make a label to go in there, I think, unless I can sort of draw on it. I don't know. I'm thinking about that. Scratch something in there. Yeah, maybe. Well, I was thinking of um, calligraphy or something. I don't know whether I'd be able to do it, though. Or maybe I'll calligraphy onto a thin tissue and then just put that on there and that might show through the stuff. So that might be okay. What's the try? Anyway, 
Just a thought. Just a thought. Okay, everybody. We are going to say goodbye. Me, m Mrs. Messy Hand and Mrs. I've Clean got... Hand over there. No, <laughs> I've got paint. I'm almost gel plate. I've got paint. I got some. Yeah. Yeah. So we will <laughs> no. say goodbye. We will say our okay, goodbye. Okay, we're going to say bye bye. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Thank you for the thumbs up. We appreciate you. Come back Friday. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Oh, on Friday.